Some people have been asking for videos on some blood pythons. So I'm looking at, in this case, this is actually a golden eye. So this is a mutation of blood python that is uh, incomplete dominance. So when you breed two of these together and you, pr you, know, you produce the homozygous super, you make something called magpie blood, which is just literally fantastic. It's awesome. So if you look at, uh, I think one of the most amazing albinos ever, this is a, a T negative. If you can see my setup here, I'm using a Freedom Breeder rack system. It's very, very simple. So I have this, you know, fair size bin, and then I'm keeping this snake on paper. So you're talking about a very secretive animal that appreciates its ability to hide from you. And it's gonna locate itself under things or wherever. And so if we wanna reduce the stress on an animal's life like this, we wanna provide an area where the animal then can kinda of go under the paper, hide. What else is important is humidity. And basically maintaining relative humidity that is oh, probably 80%, but still having ventilation. People um, need to understand that. So if I took this thing and I put it into a bin, and I put some holes in the bin, and then I raise my ambient humidity, you know, 80% or greater, what would happen is there's very little air exchange, and so this, the air inside there's actually getting old, it's getting recycled by the animal breathing in, stuff like that, and I don't think that's necessarily all that healthy. So it's really great to provide a high relative humidity, but have some ventilation. So always keep an eye on your ventilation. If you do not provide ventilation, you can uh, have things like respiratory infections, and that can be a problem. You can also have things like fungal and bacterial infections. But once again, this is a very clean, simple setup. Albino blood pythons, in this case, it's a T negative. It is some of the most amazing looking albinos going. I mean, blood pythons by themselves, are just are gorgeous. So if we're looking at a python, you know, we're looking at Bronger's Mai. So this would be like a Sumatran type blood python and just a red one, a really great example of a red one would be like a line bred, you know, red blood python. Ah, they're just, they're gorgeous. But then if we look at the albino version, it's fantastic. So these guys get a bad rap. People, for some reason, the name blood python seems to uh, maybe scare people or turn people off. There's a trick with blood pythons. I handle them like they're not gonna bite me. So I don't play games and uh, I don't use, you know, generally hooks or anything. The only time I really use hooks is like just to make me manage the head, the bitey bit. But generally I, uh, if you sit here and you're floating around the animal, you're basically putting the animal on, on point that maybe something scary is going to happen. So right now, just by me having the camera here, this is making this animal nervous. I'm also towering over this animal. This animal is detecting a large heat signature. It's looking at me, looking down at it. So I'm basically sending off some of the flags on this animal. Oh, you might need to be defensive. But one of the best things to do is, you know, excluding the feeding response, for me to interact with this animal, I just do this. And I basically, hi buddy, and I'm looking at this guy. See this tongue flick? One thing I don't like about what I'm doing right now is I'm not managing his body. So if I manage your body, I know. Okay, so let's say I do this. Generally, I'd want to use two hands, but I act like I'm not going to get bit. And uh, you could get bit, but I generally don't. And, in a, and a bite from a snake like this is, is like, pfft. it's like a joke. I don't, I don't think anything of it, but look at that animal. What I am doing right now though, I am geeking this snake out. So, wanna see a trick? Where's it head, where did its head go? <laughs> see that trick? So look at this. So I'm sitting here, putting my face over here. Okay, this guy's now focusing on the camera. Short tongue flicks. We got this guy being a little bit nervous. I wanna take it down. Do -do 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 -do. Now you're looking at other things. I can go over here. I can do things like that. So these these are smart animals. They're not dumb. So we want to basically handle them. So that's just that's the defensive bluff. He's a little scared. So we just kind of cover him up. And uh, I would have a better interaction with that animal if I was using two hands. But clearly, I'm holding the camera. Okay. So we have an animal right here. This animal's trying to figure out 
Are we going to feed the snake or are we going to play with the snake? I am just going to go play with the snake. So I don't, once again, care two bits about getting bit or anything. And look at that snake. That is just gorgeous. So uh, these are all captive-born animals that we're looking at. So a captive-born blood python is great. Now these animals, if you raise them correctly and you're not handling them like they're going to bite you, you can end up with a very, you know, very powerful, but not very long animal. But it's got all the impact of this big, you know, python without the, the overall length. Uh, they're very reasonable to manage. They're always a safe animal to manage. You know, even if you're small in stature, I don't ever have to worry, let's say, about a blood python ever, like, really, you know, being a uh, <laughs> overbearing burden on its owner. But they're really cool. So another thing I can do. See, look at this bring the stress down. I'm putting you over my head. Hi, buddy. Look at that. So cool. So I can bring, so I'm going to do this. Now the animal is no longer focused. And uh, I kind of think I invented this little thing years ago by dealing with a lot of crazy retics. So now I put this animal on point. I'm going to bring it away. Take down the stress. Now the animal's focused on something else. All right. So uh, this is just kind of like a random blood python video. But please uh, hit me up with some of your questions and tell me what kind of stuff you want to see. Albino ivory. Actually, that guy's in shed. All right, I'm going to put this guy away. Always make sure, if you can, put your animal away without having any bad finish. See that little tongue sticking out a little short? It's towering over. I'm doing all the bad things to this animal. So... You always want to end as gentle as possible because the animal is going to remember what you did in your interaction. Say goodbye.